Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today I want to do a follow-up video on the uh, recent one that I uploaded on these Ajax compatible uh, smart G-Type UK plugs. We've had so many messages and emails about this equipment, um, so I'm very pleased about that. But a lot of people also asked about my... Um, wall switch which is one of the relays that are also compatible with Ajax wireless alarm systems because I did happen to mention that I have one of these taking care of my exterior lights at the front of the property. So this is what Ajax call a wall switch and this is where it gets a bit complicated really. It's actually a relay but it's not to be mistaken with the actual Ajax relay that looks identical to this because Ajax called their 12 to 24 volt model the relay and this one that coats with UK mains power 230 40 volts they called it a wall switch it was called that because it was designed specifically to go behind UK switches so you could put this behind there wire it up very simply, switch it on, you wouldn't be able to see it behind your plug and it would activate your plug for you when you wanted. But now we have the smart socket G. So we don't need them so much for that, but they do have a home in the UK. And that's because Ajax have brought out what they call a DIN holder. Now, if you've ever seen anything this shape before, it means you've been in your fuse board. When something's tricked out, you'll go to your fuse board and then flick the fuse back up again. That's this size. And this wall switch, or relay as I would like to call it, fits nicely into there. No problem at all. Clip it into your fuse box and it can control anything that you want that's powered from your fuse box. I control my outdoor lights. Why? Because I like my lights to come on at a certain time and this takes care of that along with the wireless alarm system. I have my lights activating on the front driveway at five o'clock and going off at 11. Certainly at this time of year because we're now coming to mid-November and it's got dark very quickly. Um, what I also use this for is I also use it to arm the lights, so to switch the lights on if anybody goes into my van, because I so happen to have two black PIR sensors, one in the cab, one in the rear, looking at the side and back door in case anybody ever breaks in. And so if anybody breaks into the van while it's alarmed, the house alarm, obviously the van is separate, a separate zone on the house alarm, it sets this off, powers it up, and powers my six exterior lights up, making it look like the burglar or the van thief has been spotted from inside the building and the lights have been switched on. At the same time, the sirens are going off internally and externally. It's a brilliant way to secure your work vans. I insist that anybody who works for me has one of these if they take one of my vans home. Simple as that. No ifs, no buts. So... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you my alarm system. Um, I showed you it on the previous video on the smart sockets. Again, you're not seeing anything that's privileged. There's no metadata on there, no GPS, no serial numbers, nothing to give away where it is at all. If that was the case, you wouldn't get to see it. So I'm just going to nip on my app, which is here. There's my downstairs alarm, zone one. My gun cabinet door contact, which is zone three. At solid zone 2, usually armed 24 hours a day. It's not armed at the moment because I want to do some messing around for you. I want to click into the devices. And there it says van security, which is zone 3. These can all be armed independently and at different times, no problem at all. There's a side picture of my side loading door on my Ford Connect that I run around in. So if that's armed, and someone breaks in and sets the PIR sensors off, it brings up my lights, as well as takes care of my timer. I'll just click into the devices. I'll go straight past the house stuff, down to the front and rear PIR sensors. Clearly, again, they're in black, as you can see. That's because my bulkhead is black in the van, even though it's white, the van itself. We also have 
the smart socket here which I used in the previous video I'll just arm it very quickly it will go green and the toggle has now gone blue and I'll then disarm it as well so you know that we're on my system and there you have my driveway light relay which is identical to this one what I've done is I've taken it out of my main fuse board in the house I have a sub board about five feet behind this monitor and with the help of this DIN holder I've been able to take it out very quickly and put it straight into that one for you because I'll do a quick demonstration as we always do now I'll bring in a spare light that I have this is an 8 watt LED light very low usage I have six of these out, uh, out front three surrounding where my van and my car is parked and then obviously three down the wall towards the road very low uh, wattage 8 watts they use very little and I have these coming on through that light relay the wall switch as they like to call them from 5 while 11 but I also have them so that the lights arm if someone breaks into the van but we can also as you've just seen with the smart socket here click on the toggle and turn the lights on and that's instantaneous did you see how fast it actually was just click it and it's done as fast as that apparently they claim it is 0.15 seconds for it to get a command which is brilliant and that's anywhere in the world I like that what I also want to show you is I'll just click in go into the settings where my scenarios are there's my driveway light scenario 5 while 11 and I call that van PIR notification you could call it van PIR intruder or something like that which means that no matter what time of night it is even if it's 20 past 1 in the morning and the lights are on because they've gone off anybody sets any of my black PIR sensors off inside my van on go my lights lighting up the front of my house like a Christmas tree again giving it the impression that they've been spotted from inside the building and my internal and outdoor sirens will be flashing their heads off and ringing the outdoor sirens are extremely loud plus a notification to anybody and you can see them there look the little lines showing what's been active on your system and if there's any alarms so if you've got three or four people who are on the alarm system they all know that your van or your house has been tampered with and that is fantastic it really is that easy and I think this is the way really that Ajax are going they're just going to make this automation thing part of their alarm systems because their apps are so simple so responsive and so reliable and long may they do so I know that they're going to bring a light switch out that will look let's just take that out there and look something like this a little flat panel and you'll be able to just touch it with your fingers to arm it and then touch it to disarm it it'll have a single gang like that then it'll have two side by side and I believe they're doing a two-way switch as well and of course all of them will have the same timers and scenarios and things like that and controls that the smart socket and the driveway light relay sorry wall switch has got it means that Ajax is a really forward looking company and they are trying to get us what we want in the UK hence the reason we sell so many systems we've got well over 200 Ajax uh, wireless alarm systems out there they're super reliable and we replace very little which is always good for the end user so I hope you've enjoyed the video there's certainly been enough people asking for it um, I'm going to do some more Ajax work in the next couple of weeks there's one of the Ajax hubs of course um, I've neglected them a little bit because they're just so good you know we're always installing them but I'm going to do some um, Ajax wireless stuff uh, video wise I'll start basic and then work my way through to some of the more advanced stuff oh there goes my phone um, if you want to make sure you don't miss the next video click the subscribe uh, button and click the bell 
if you don't want to, well, I suppose that's fine too. There's no hard sales here. Um, this is predominantly for my customers because I like them to see what's available and I like them to see that everything that I supply them works and works well. So, other than that, the only thing to say is, this is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK. You all stay out of trouble and I'll see you all again on my next video. Bye-bye now.